Welcome to the Milestone 25th Miami Jewish Film Festival, the world's largest film festival of its kind. We want to thank all of our members, sponsors, community partners, all of you film lovers, and especially our presenting sponsors, the Center for the Advancement of Jewish Education and the Greater Miami Jewish Federation for their continued support throughout all these years. My name is Mark Baranek. I am the Director of Congregational Engagement here at Temple Beth Shalom in Miami Beach, and I'm excited to be moderating a virtual conversation. I wish it were in person mm -hmm. because I, I, I told our guests that I'd like to have a coffee with them, but they get a rain check for that. And I'm here with, with Director Eitan, Eitan Wetzler and the star of the film, the writer, the producer, and you're going to hear all about her, Ilana Ben-Ezri Tevalov, who, who is with us, who are with us tonight as we premiere this film, uh, Gutmann, um, this evening. And thank you all for joining us. It's really my pleasure to, to, to uh, take us through this short interview. Um, I, 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 I got to watch the film. As, as all of you did, and, and there are a number of, of, of questions that I have. But first, I'd like to start by just having our guests introduce themselves and how they got to, to, to making the film itself. I know, I know, Ilana, you spoke about this was something very special for you to, to tell your parents' story. But how did the actual uh, filming and the project begin and, and the genesis of it? Should Ilana talk or me? Eitan, why don't you begin and then we'll move over to Ilana. That's fine. Okay, fine. Um, it all started uh, with a phone call from Ilana uh, that uh, she heard about uh, me and uh, the fact that I'm uh, making uh, documentary films. And um, we met uh, not far away from... Uh, uh, Binyamina, which is where Ilana lives, and we and I heard this, her story. It was um, it was a story about uh, the family and uh, a few uh, other subjects that I didn't know much about. For example, the Anglo Baltic kibbutz, which I didn't hear about before that, and even a historian. Israeli historian didn't hear much about it. And so it was very emotional for Ilana to tell the story. And I was trying in the beginning, the first meeting, just to uh, catch what, what, how do you build a story from all this information that Ilana uh, threw upon me. And uh, then we, we met again and slowly uh, I could understand uh, how these um, interesting stories uh, can uh, make a, a, a one story that, uh, and I suggested to Ilana to lead the story, to, to, to be in front of the camera, though she didn't like it so much. But uh, I thought it was initial, it was very important for her to be in the film, to tell the story from her own, her own uh, in, in her own words. Very nice. Ilana, tell us about meeting Eitan, what it was like, and, and the beginnings of the project for you. As a child, I dream uh, about looking after Gutman, my only father's brother. And I, I only heard in my childhood that he, was, uh, he disappeared in the Shoah, in the Holocaust. And I, as a child, I thought I was sure that if he ran away, he will come back. And if he will not come back, I go and find him. And I couldn't. I went to Latvia four times and I didn't have any one paper about him. So I said to myself, okay, if I don't find Gutman, I may write my uh, parent story in Binyamina in the Anglo-Baltican group. Wow, and it was so difficult, so I didn't, want, I didn't know what to do with so many details. So I um, went to Eitan and I asked him 
to to help me to uh, gather all the pieces of my family story. It was difficult for me um, to speak. It was difficult to me to be in the front of the camera. But for my parents and for Gutman, I felt it's a great mission and great uh, responsibility to do it. So that's it. <laughs> Wonderful. You Thank you, Ilana. Uh, Eitan. Were there any difficulties in, in the actual filming of, of the project? Were there things that you came about that you came up against that, that you didn't expect? Were there any surprises in, in creating in creating the film? Um, not much difficulties, uh, I wouldn't say. Um, it just uh, the first uh, mission that I encounter was to, uh, put the pieces together and make a coherent film uh, that uh, doesn't deal with too many subjects. So this, this was my first and initial um, mission that I thought um, I, I wouldn't like to, I didn't like to um, go sideways. I wanted to focus on the story and, um, but, but um, usually in my films, I, I let, uh, things happened. The character of the film takes me to his path and I just join. And um, th this was important for me just to follow Ilana and her wishes and uh, the dream that she had. Um, and by that time, she knew a lot uh, when we started to make the film, but slowly uh, and surely, uh, many details um, uh, add, added to the film. And, uh, and, and it was sort of a, a research uh, that uh, Ilana uh, took us to. And uh, we, we met people and we heard their story. Ilana made uh, a research before we were filming. And so much of the information was already known to Ilana, but um, we, with my help, we could uh, go deeper into this, the, the information and, and uh, try to understand how this all, the whole story uh, uh, will come about. Wonderful. Uh, Eitan, and I, I mentioned to you, uh, I found the cinematography, I found the filming, you know, when, 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 the, you know, when Ilana and, and, some of her friends are, are walking near near the old houses. I, I, I felt actually, you know, I, walking on the footsteps with them because the sound was clear. The picture was, the, the cinematography in, in the film really was terrific. So kolo kavod, as we say in Hebrew. You. Ilana, did you yeah. find any of the people that you had interviews with? I'm not talking about, about your friends and, and their parents. But, but the ones from the, the council, the ones from the cities, did you find they were, they were comfortable in speaking with you about the past or did you feel any resistance at all? They didn't like it. They didn't want me to, to dig in the history because there are a lot of secret, secrets still today and they don't want me to know about it, to speak about it, and I insist to do it because Binyamina is going to be 100th anniversary next year. And I want, I desire that this, this chapter will be part of the history of Binyamina, of Binyamina. They still don't like it, but they know it's true. Listen, it's, it, as you say, Ilana, it, it's part of the history. It's part of what makes Binyamina today is its past. And, and, and for me, um, and I think for everyone who watched the film, I think they learned about a period that, that many people are not familiar with. And that is that period, you know, from, from the late 1920s to the establishment of the state of Israel, that era where, where, you know, Jews were coming from all over Europe and they were trying to, to make inroads into, into communities. Um, and, and then the whole issue of, of labor, 
which became such a, an important aspect, I think, of the film. Can you can you talk about that a little bit? When you learned about the, the issues that were with that that had to do with the labor and finding the proper people and giving Arab labor over over Jewish labor, how how did you feel when you learned about that? These people were survived. They dream a dream. They came to Israel after a Zionist dream. And they didn't even thought that, think, thought that life will be so difficult for them. What I found in Binyamina between 1922 to uh, 1948, there were about 50 Zionist groups from all kinds, from the right and from the left, that were looking for, for work. They wanted to establish, establish a, a, a state. Um, they had so many difficult because they had no work and the, the, there was difficulties between Arab and Jewish labor. Eitan, I think that you can tell us more about it than me. Maybe Eitan will... will Eitan, maybe you can make some further comments for those that didn't understand Hebrew. Ilana, that was good. Eitan? <laughs> Kola kavad, zabaseder. Eitan. Well, I, 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 I think there are two issues that I could speak about. First of all, you know, there is this saying that history is written by the victor. And, um, and um, you know that... Uh, uh, Jews have uh, this Zionist dream to come to Israel, but the, as you know, there are, there are fractions in, in Zionism. Those, uh, the socialist and the, let's say, capitalist. And um, uh, when the first uh, Jews came to Israel in the 19th century, um, the Baron or the Rothschild would uh, help them by uh, buying some land and give it to these people who came, uh, 8081, 82 sorry, the, the, the first uh, Jews that came to Israel to work as farmers. And they already established farms. And um, the, the second Aliyah, or even the second Aliyah was still these people that I was talking about, the first and the second Aliyah, but the third Aliyah were actually, Aliyah, I mean immigration, um, they came uh, to, uh, the, these people who came later on, they were told, you're not going to get any land anymore, but you could work for uh, the farmers who got the land um, from Rothschild and other, other uh, 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 people that, that, that helped to build the farms in Israel, in Palestine, actually. So there was a rivalry uh, between these people who came with this idea, um, uh, socialist ideology that everything has to be uh, spared and uh, everything has to be, all the lands belong to everyone and so on, these group and the other groups that already established themselves in Israel, in Palestine, and uh, they said, you know, this is, uh, this is our land, this is, uh, we got uh, this land by right, and now you could work for us. Uh, and the socialist people, um, for their own rights, said, okay, fine, we'll work for you, but we want uh, an honest uh, wage. And this, how it all came about, that uh, the Arab, uh, the Arab uh, settler, the Arab, Arab people who uh, were in, 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 in those time, uh, they were willing to work for less uh, uh, salary than the Jews who came uh, from Eastern Europe and, uh, and, and, and they had these ideals of socialist uh, ideology. And that's, it. that's how it all came uh, to be a big um, rivalry between these two camps. Thank you. Ilana, there were a few interviews that really stood out for me, uh, a few of the, the people that you met with. One in particular was a young man who had such a, a, an amazing knowledge of Holocaust research, 
And 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 when you I rem, the one thing something that stood out for me was when you asked him why is this so important for you? Like why 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 do you want to why do you need to know so much about the Holocaust? And when he said you know when it went beyond the family, he goes he he didn't really have an answer for you. The other one that I, I want you to talk about is is the woman that you met in that beautiful home about Zichron Yaakov, and what a beautiful home she had. And and I you know I know the real estate market in Zichron uh, is 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 booming these days. Too bad those people didn't hold on to their homes back from uh, hundreds of years ago. Anyways, Ilana, tell us about the young man uh, that was doing the research for for Gutman. Uh, when I realized that, uh, that I have, I will not have any more details than I have. I one day I found in the Facebook a young man, that a student that is looking for pictures from Lepaya Jews, Lepa, uh, the Jews of Lepaya. So I found him, and we decided to uh, to meet and I told him about my family. And he said, okay, I'm going to try to look after Gutman. Uh, the name Gutman, Goodman, he was my Gutman because he was looking and doing what I couldn't. He was looking on everywhere in, in, uh, in the internet to, um, to look what happened, to search what happened to Gutman. And he found that Gutman didn't die on Latvia. Uh, all the uh, Lepaya Jewish were sent to Stutthof. Um, we, are, we, we speak to each other once a week, two weeks, and he's a wonderful person. I never met him before, but he's like my little son. <laughs> Wonderful. The gentleman yeah. that was in the wheelchair that you were asking about that knew so much about the history of, of the community and, and how much he remembered, how is he today in, in 2021? He passed away. Mm. He passed away two months ago. And for me, he was like a miracle because he spoke so much about Binyamina and about the social rights and everything. So there are a lot of things that the uh, ate and the uh, filmed and is not in the uh, in the spirit. In the, in the, film, in the final product. In the right. Film. And 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 since yeah. you say that Ilana, Eitan, as you did the editing of the film, is there anything that you left out that we should know about that that you were you were thinking about putting in and and, and for timing purposes or for for whatever reasons, um, you know, is there is there a particular scene that that wasn't included in the film that you can share? Um, there, I, I can think about uh, one scene that uh, uh, we went to Kfar Bloom, uh, the kibbutz where Ilana used to uh, go uh, as a child uh, for many for many many years uh, for her vacation, and. Um, and there were two very nice women uh, that uh, shared with us uh, their experience uh, as uh, children in, uh, in, in the Anglo-Baltic uh, uh, kibbutz. And, um, but, I, but somehow uh, they didn't give us much information and um, or information that is very vital to the film. That's something that I could um, I, I was trying because it was very nice, warm atmosphere, but it was not, um, it was not, I didn't see that they add something, some information or anything uh, to the film. So, um, so I left it out, but <laughs> as a gesture, at the end of the film, we see uh, like a few seconds of, of that meeting. So you know what, Eitan, I noticed that because I noticed when the film ended, and I thought the credits were coming up at the end. And then you showed one last, really, it was a sweet scene, that last maybe five or 10 seconds of that scene. So, so, so you got both in you, and you got it in at the end. You know, as we, as we wrap up this interview, I, I want to uh, ask you, Eitan, what's next for you as, as a filmmaker? Are there any projects coming up? Anything we need to, to, to look out for? 
absolutely. Uh, I'm working on two uh, long film documentaries. Um, one film is, uh, uh, as you might know, uh, in uh, two years, there'll be 50 years anniversary of the uh, um, Yom Kippur War. And um, I uh, uh, started to interview three uh, um, tank people. How do you say? People who fought in, with tanks. Right, uh, tank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the armored, they were in the armored division. Right, in the armored division in the Golan Heights. And um, actually they um, prevented from the Syrian uh, this unit prevented from the Syrian to invade, invade the Galilee. It was really, uh, it was a, a, a war for, for, for life and death because if the Syrian were able to go to the Kinneret, um, I don't know how this war will, would end. Uh, so they were actually saving that border. And um, so this is one film. And the other film is very different, uh, very different one. Uh, it's about um, it's about uh, two women. Uh, one is a social worker, and the other one is a, a woman that was hurt as a child um, uh, sexually. And uh, she's amazing writer and singer. Uh, she's 25 years old, and she tells all about her um, um, her past and what she had to go through, through songs that she sings in front of her audience. So it's really very emotional film. And I hope, um, I hope these two films uh, somehow find a way to get to you. Wonderful, Eitan, I wish you the best of luck and, and we look forward to, to seeing those films. I do especially. Ilana, one of the things as we, as we really wrap this up, my last question for you is this. I loved seeing the piece about your family. I loved the, you know, everything tied up near the end where, where they showed your kids and your grandchildren. It was a beautiful, those family pictures. How did it feel to have your whole family with you for the end of the project? I think I don't know what to say because my family, we live together in one uh, big garden piece of land. Um, it makes me to appreciate what I have. It makes me to, to love every piece or every minute in my life. Um, I have a nice family and thank for them I did the I, I could make it. Um, I wish I could have a bigger family. I wish I wish uh, my family in England would be here. Um, but everything is okay now. It's made the film made me feel schlimmer. It fulfilled you. It fulfilled you, and I, I and I I see that in the film. And even though your search for Gutman was unsuccessful, there seemed to be a, 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 a completion for you, a, a, a feeling of fulfillment by the end, and it came across in the film. Yeah. So I wanna thank you because I told you both when we spoke earlier, Binyamina today is this hub for, for transportation. It's, it's a cool a community now. Uh, the train goes right through there when you go up to the north. Uh, um, Binyamina, as you said, is celebrating its centennial year, its 100th year uh, this coming year. And so it's, it, it, for, for me and for everyone who's, who watched the film, it was educational, it was moving, it was even suspenseful when we learned about, you know, Borco's dad and, and what happened. It was like, a, it was, you know, a, a, a surprise as, as the film proceeds. So I want to just say to, to Eitan, to Ilana, I want to thank you both. For, for, for this film, for giving this to the Miami Jewish Film Festival. And I wanna thank again, all of our members, our sponsors, our community partners, our volunteers, and all of you film lovers for participating in this milestone 25th Miami Jewish Film Festival. Thank you all. And we appreciate everyone being here with us today. Thank, thank you. you.